Good day folks, I'd like to show you another concept, it's the aluminium air cell and basically this is something you can probably do in high school as well, it's very easy, just a piece of thin foil and, un and a, um, I'm using a paper towel as a spacer and underneath it is just a carbon felt which I wet with the um, electrolyte which is just the salt water for a quick and dirty demonstration um, even so, just this little tiny piece creates a little over a volt, which is more than enough to um, drive small motors, just to show you a demonstration here. It's been doing this for two days, okay, so it goes on for a long time, and this is very similar, Th this demonstration setup anyways is very similar to the uh, Bedini um, crystal battery, as in all you have to do to keep it going is give it a few drops of water, of the salt water, every two days or so, and this keeps going. So this has been running all night, no problem, without even doing anything, because it acts like a sponge. The um, carbon felt underneath has been soaked in the salt water, and the paper towel sort of acts as a um, barrier, because this is an air cell. So what happens is, I originally tried doing this with the um, thin foil directly on the carbon, but after a few moments the voltage drops when the reaction stops. So you need to give it a constant supply of air to make it work. So the paper towel sort of acts as a sponge and gets the air to flow in between at the same time, but still letting the electrolyte through. As you can see, it wets a little bit. And this enhances it and it'll keep going. If you don't want to do it this way, you would have to find another um, electrolyte material, uh, polymer fiber probably would do it, so you wouldn't have to uh, have the wet mess, but it would essentially do the same thing. You just put that in between the paper towel instead, and you would have a quote-unquote dry cell version of this. And it's very efficient because, as you see, it's only a little tiny piece of thin foil, and it can go on. This piece of thin foil will give you power for a week or more, if you want to give it a drop of water every two days, that's all it needs. All of this just needs a couple drops of water every few days, salt water as the electrolyte. And that could be, um, that could be replaced by another system, like I said, if you want to use a dry cell version with the, um, the fiber polymer instead, which will be your electrolyte material. And it would convert this into a dry cell instead. So no wet mess, and it would do the same thing. Now, they were going to build, eventually, I think it was like near the 80s, they were going to build electric cars, and this was going to be what powered the electric car. It was going to be a, a, a um, aluminum um, plate, and um, it would go in kind of like a gas tank, and they would sludge that in there, and you'd be good for 100 miles or whatever, and then the plate would eventually disintegrate, and then you'd be uh, just put a new plate, and your electric car would be good to go. And this was pretty well friendly for the environment, well, more so than um, burning fossil fuels. And uh, the cost is very cheap for thin foil, well, thin in general. And um, yeah, that's what they were going to do, and they had the plans, and I've got documents on my site if uh, you've never seen it before, but... They were going to build electric cars and use this as the power source, which is kind of weird that they're not. I know there's kind of limitations to this, and this is a very inefficient way of doing it, but just to show you how well this works, because the air in aluminum is like one of the strongest reactions. So this is a very efficient way of pulling in the extra energy out of this system here. But in the cars, they were going to give it a sort of compressed air because you got to give it, to enhance it, you got to, it has to have a constant flow of air. So what we could do to enhance this is take the motor, put a little fan blade on there and keep blowing air and that would enhance the system with the airflow. Um, another way to make this better, which could be potentially dangerous, is um, you can convert it into a hybrid um, hydrogen generator as well if you... Um, blow steam water to uh, aluminum, um, there will be a, a reaction, a, a chemical reaction of sorts, which gives you a hydrogen output, very similar to how I um, put the magnesium and the salt uh, vinegar water and it created the extra hydrogen. Well, you can do similar with the thin foil here. Um, maybe not this one from the store, because they actually put a layer on there so that it protects it, so you know. A chemical reaction won't make the um, basically uh, blow up in your kitchen, 
but essentially in raw form you could do that so I just thought that was very interesting um, anyone can replicate this all you need is a carbon felt a paper towel a little bit of salt water and a piece of thin foil and you'll have basically a continuous low voltage source of energy here as long as you um, water it every few days a few drops that's it it absorbs like a sponge and it's just laying there and that's all it needs